So, Nottingham Forest been deducted four points for breaching PSR rules. Uh, it's fine. It's no problem, you know. I, I, I always wanted to go back to the championship and play Stoke City on a cold Tuesday night. Uh, that's, you know, the biggest cliche in the world. But, you know, it's, it's going to be fun. In reality, though, we've got nine cup finals remaining and we all just need to get behind the team now. But let's try and get some perspective of what's actually gone on. I'm not going to claim to be an expert at all when it comes to PSR and I don't really want to because, I mean, it's not really a subject that we want to talk about in football because it normally means something's wrong with said club. Quite a weird thing, this, but I suppose it is our own fault. And I do also feel like we have kind of got away with it a little bit. What thought we could have had, it could have been six points. Apparently, the Premier League wanted to dock us eight points initially. So to only get four, I think is actually quite a good outcome, really. If you do enjoy this video, I'm now talking about Forest being deducted points. It's not that enjoyable, but please hit the like button, subscribe to Rads. If you're new, come on, please do it. You know what I mean? We've got to rally together. We've got to stick together on and off the pitch, and that includes watching Rads. What is this guy on about? He hasn't got a clue. He has not got a clue. Take your hat off. For God's sake. Get some lip balm on as well. <clears throat> Sorry, that's totally not what one of these called me once. Just thought I'd make a joke out of it, but probably wasn't very funny, but let's just get on with the video, you know what I mean? So Forest do now have a week to decide whether we want to appeal this point deduction. Some of you might think that's what we should do to try and maybe reduce it, but there's also a risk involved from what I can tell of potentially getting points added on. Now, the reason why I feel it became four points, and this is what the statements, various statements have said is due to our cooperation with the Premier League, we actually got a slightly smaller deduction than what we could have done. It is also a bit baffling though, and it does also kind of tell you an awful lot of the Premier League don't really have a clear plan, and that motto of them making it up as they go along, I think genuinely is quite true, because Everton broke the rules, nowhere near as badly as what we did, based off the financial side of things, well, that is exactly what PSR is. Point is, is Everton lost roughly 19 million in this period that they're being measured on. They could even get a further deduction. But the point is, is Forrest lost around 34 million, a lot more than Everton, and yet we've got a smaller deduction. Now, Everton seemingly did try and do everything they could to avoid being penalised, whereas Forrest immediately admitted to it, so maybe that's part of it, but it's still quite steep that we only get four points, Everton initially got ten, now six. So, yeah, I don't really think the, the Premier League know what they're doing. I think we do need to take a look at this unbelievable statement from Forrest, um, very strongly worded statement, and I can get behind it, I really can. I think it's fair play to us, you know, for standing our ground here. Just gonna have a look at a little bit of it here. I'm not gonna read it all out, but it is basically saying get lost to the Premier League. I mean, that's one way of putting it. We're gonna be, you know, polite. It's it's a very strong statement, but it's also not this one, I think, on Nottingham Forest's behalf. It's it's for just football in general. I think it's just saying how on earth can we possibly compete in today's current climate without spending ob obscene amounts of money. Now this is another subject altogether because, like, we could definitely question how we spent the money. Forest have blown an awful lot of it on Dodds, just, you know, a waste of space type player like John Joe Shelby. Emmanuel Dennis in the end, that's a bit harsh, but 20 odd million, someone that's now on loan in the championship. Andre Ayew getting a lot of money to do very little. Um, Harry Art is still at the football club. I mean, that's kind of a slightly different subject but why you know, he's still at the football club doing absolutely nothing as much as we really really uh, had a great time with these two players Felipe and Kelo Navas having such high wages probably didn't help the situation Omar Richards you know Julian Biancom players that haven't even played for the club Loic Barde god that's a throwback but you know we signed some players that haven't even played for us have hardly played for us or just haven't worked out this is actually outside the period that we're being measured on, but Ibrahim Sangara, 30 million on someone that has been extremely underwhelming. 
like I say, that is definitely being monitored outside of when we're being penalized here. That's not related, but it still makes a big point of the fact that we don't really spend money that wisely. We've definitely made some great signings, no doubt about it. But the point does still stand that we still would have had to have signed a lot of players, whether it's reasonable or not reasonable, to stand any chance. We came up with a squad that was very depleted. We could have made it a bit easier for ourselves by keeping maybe just a bit more of the spine of that team together and maybe relying on a few lads that you wouldn't necessarily expect to be at this level, just like Luton are doing, and it's somewhat working for them. So there's two ways you can look at it. We could have done it like that, but Forest, we're incredibly ambitious. We're not just going to settle for being in relegation battles, which I, I admire in ways, but I also feel like it puts a lot of pressure on us sometimes for no reason. But this bit here on the statement is, is very, very telling. We were also surprised that the Premier League gave no consideration at all to the unique circumstances of the club and its mitigation. In circumstances where this approach is followed by future PSR commissions, it would make it extremely difficult, if not impossible, for newly promoted clubs without parachute payments, that's Forest of course, to compete, thus undermining the integrity and competitiveness of the Premier League. Wow, that is a strong thing to put in a statement, but very true. I think the bit here where it says by future PSR commissions, that's a big dig at the fact that ultimately these PSR rules are changing next season and it, it would actually make it even harder for clubs like Forest to do what we've done, you know? So it's just making it even harder to compete. And it goes back to that debate. Sheffield United hardly spend anything getting absolutely thrashed every week. And they could easily say to their board, we haven't been ambitious enough, we haven't invested enough. Whereas Forest, we do it to the absolute extreme, invest money, and now we're being punished for it. So you're a double-edged sword here either way. You can't win. So it's really, it's really unfair, honestly. Like, do you be ambitious but get punished or do you do nothing and then get relegated with a whimper? This is why it's so difficult for clubs to come up and actually compete. Besides the lots of Brighton and Villa who have slowly but surely built up very, very intelligently. Fulham eventually have managed to find that kind of model. Wolves, I mean, yes, there are some cases, clubs coming up, but it takes a fair bit of time and very clever recruitment and planning for it to work. So you can do it, but teams like Luton coming up where they've just got hardly any money at all even with revenue from getting promoted it's going to be very 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 difficult. Forest thankfully we have the history behind us we have the stature behind us and it can attract certain players and we have just more money than someone like Luton but it, you know you can get them punished for it. I don't think we should appeal though because I feel that could backfire on us but yeah it's only four points I say only it could have been worse it really could with one point in the relegation zone now and it isn't just a case of getting one point better off than Luton Everton could still get a deduction so they could end up being dragged right back into it they're definitely not out of it as it is Brentford are in really poor form Burnley are somewhat all of a sudden not out of it they're only four points behind us now Burnley and they won their last game against Brentford so Burnley probably aren't thinking it's completely over I do think Sheffield United it's it's a ship that's been sailed quite a while ago We've got to rally together now, we've got to stick together as a team, as a club. Raise that atmosphere again, it absolutely needs to be raised and we've just got to stick together here and it's going to be really, really tight. I think we can definitely stay up here, I think four points is a lot better than what we could have got. So yeah, we've got to stick together now and raise that atmosphere again. Please make sure you like and subscribe to Rads and yes, international break now so that's a bit boring but we will Actually, as a Forest fan, I'm actually quite pleased it's international break for once. Uh, yeah, international break, but there will be videos over this period. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Up the Reds.